Today we're taking a look at the Smash Windows virus. Now this virus actually garnered quite a bit of publicity and fear in the year 2000 when it was discovered. However, it never ended up being very widespread, but the payload is very devastating and is quite frightening if you're not prepared for it. So let's go ahead and run it. So now it's present in memory. It starts infecting files. It doesn't matter which executable file it infects. It'll affect uh, .exe, .dll, and .scr for screensavers. It doesn't care. It'll just infect all of it. So, just letting it infect some files here. Now the payload activates on July 14th when it displays a custom blue screen of death when an infected file is run. Let's see if we can get it to work here. Performed an illegal operation. That wasn't even the program I was trying to run. Interesting. This one, no, not going to do it. Alright, let's try restarting. And then we'll try running an infected file. Windows 95. Alright. Now, it is July 14th, right? No? No? Okay. Oh, there we go. Here's the custom blue screen of death from Smash. Just give you a chance to read that. Computer has been infected by a virus. Seems like your bad dream comes true. Press any key to continue, so you press enter, which restarts the computer, which initiates its extreme destruction. Where it overwrites io.sys with a trojan that formats the hard drive on the next boot. And by pressing any key on that blue screen of death, it restarts the machine, which initiates the children. So, it's pretty devastating. And really, any average user would be pretty freaked out by the blue screen of death that says you have a virus, and their knee-jerk reaction would be to press a key, which pretty much seals their computer's fate. Now, it appears to be stuck on this screen, however, it is formatting the hard drive. So, go ahead and restart and should be unable to boot at this point. This computer takes a little bit to boot. I think it's from 1994. Bought it from my friend RushJet1, who makes awesome music. So with any luck, the computer shouldn't be able to boot. Or maybe it can still load the Trojan that formats the hard drive. I don't know, but in the, either way, you're not going to get past this screen, and your computer will be stuck in this forever booting sequence. So that's about it for the Smash Virus.